That's good. That's the important thing. It's much harder now to find the Scholes and Glidden typewriter in the wild. This is Scholes and Glidden 2540. Oh, this is exquisite. I've only been collecting for half the time that Jim has. He started collecting 50 years ago, and at that time there were only a handful of typewriter collectors. 1926. Oh, that is a gorgeous machine. Oh, that's... I love that one. And that should do it except for those two. Yes. Oh, Byron, I used to have your energy. You shall take up my wedding ring. Is your wife in the typewriter at all, huh? Uh, in a word, uh, no. Oh, my, those are shiny and beautiful. Wow. Question to ask a collector if they have a particular machine for sale. Are you still looking for shovels and glittons? I guess certainly if you saw one, you'd... Well, I don't know now. There's so many things. Difficult times. Put into the ring and, and, and make our desires known. It's, it's important not to be me. I suspect that over the years you have other collectors who have come to you uh, interested in buying shovels and glittons. Yes. Let me ask you this. What are your thoughts about selling some of your typewriters at this right time? Right now, I seriously, you know, I had when I was six years old. And I've got some wind-up toys that my mother used to bring back to us from Germany. I'm a twin brother. I give you my, my own kind of joke. I know what twins are. They're womb mates. That's my dad and mother. I first collecting from my parents, collecting these interesting tools. My dad would restore them. Cobbler's tools, cooler's tools, kitchen implements. It's an electric. This is our house. My parents don't have that house. 1966. There was the Don River in the back garden. The built boats would get a door and put it years old. My dad built a zip line 300 feet long. From the top right down to the pine trees at the bottom of the hill. This is a massive dinner tot of my dad built for the universal joint in the middle of the sort of carnival ride. We built balsa with gliders. That's an eight-foot wingspan on that one. I am capturing my past. Thank you. 
I started getting calls from people that were coming out. How many of you actually learned how to use the technology? High tech people who create new technologies who were interested in buying my work. This piece is a portrait bust of Mark Zuckerberg, the head of Facebook. Christmas present for him from a friend. Hopefully it looks a little like Mark's eyes are kind of a little wide set. The insides of his eyes are kind of turned up a little bit. Sometimes I'll get anonymous hate mail on that website or comments on Instagram or Facebook. But someone's obviously very upset that I'm doing what I do.